Happy May Day, and that means it's time to sow pumpkins, and I may have over-ordered on the seed. And there's the rain. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a really lovely couple of days. It's been really sunny and very warm as well, actually. So you might notice that the greenhouse looks slightly different. And that's because all my tomatoes and my chilies and aubergines have now come to live out in the greenhouse. Um, they came out yesterday. I was a little bit worried. Uh, but when I checked the temperature, it's really come down. <laughs> when I checked the temperature this morning, it was 10.6 in the greenhouse and that's what you want is temperatures over 10 degrees for your tender plants like tomatoes so i was quite happy with that and i think they'll be very happy getting much more light in here even when it is raining so to make room for these i had to take some of the stuff out of here and i've now planted out lettuces uh peas more peas sweet peas a few of those the autumn sown ones monge two and sugar snap those spring onions, the spring onions from the compost trial finally went out into the garden. Um, I think that is about everything. But what it means now is that I've freed up space and I can start sowing more things. And the things I want to sow are primarily pumpkins and squashes, winter squashes, because they are the reason that I garden. <laughs> squash are my favourite things. So I've got squash, but also courgettes sweet corn, cucumbers, all of these things can be sown now. So that's very exciting. So let's start with pumpkins. And I know I've over ordered on my varieties pumpkins because I've already written my labels and I have that many <laughs> labels for the different varieties. Um, these are, I think, 17 varieties of pumpkin and then not all of them because Danny from the Grow Up channel is bringing me a baby blue pumpkin when we meet up in Malvern, uh, which is in a couple of weeks time. If you're there, if you see me, do say hello. Um, and I also realised as I was writing out these labels, I don't have a butternut squash. How do I not have a butternut squash? So I need to source one of those. So these are the varieties that I've got. Um, these are the ones that I did last year. So tried and tested. Uh, a cheeky curry, best, best pumpkin there is, best squash there is. If you can only grow one squash, that's the one I would suggest. Uh, squash delicata, which is the honey boat squash. Um, they have different sort of names for the delicata and um, they're fine I've still got a few of those left and um, they're quite a small little stripy squash I've got the baked potato I think I only have like one or two seeds left of the baked potato but I did really like that one of course tromboncino I'm not going to grow as many tromboncinos this year I'm still trying to eat tromboncinos <laughs> and although they're fun and it's nice that you can eat them early as well as cured they're not as tasty as a butternut squash. I'm just going to say it. Um, pumpkin Big Macs. Now, I still have my Big Macs from last year. Um, no idea how or when I'm going to eat it. Should I grow it again? I feel like I am. Um, this year, I think I'm going to have to accept that this is a Halloween pumpkin. You know, this is a pumpkin for carving. Uh, fungo. So I still have two of my fungo squash left. This was my absolute favourite to look at last year. And I'm definitely growing those again. Again, not sure I've got that many seeds left. Uh, now, um, spaghetti squash. I did sow that last year and um, didn't get any. They're none materialised. So I don't know quite what happened to those because the year before I had loads of them. Um, so I don't know what went on there and then candy roaster which this is a new packet of seeds but I did have candy roaster from the year be uh, the year before but again didn't get any of those ones so candy roaster and spaghetti squash are having another go and then the squash that are new to me this year uh, I've got two varieties that are from Ali and Trish at the right pair plot one is the Andean big pumpkin so that's going to be another biggie but then it's balanced by tiny ones. And these are sugar pie pumpkins, which apparently are very good for making pies. Uh, talking of big pumpkins, I also have the pumpkin seed that I took from Malvern, the autumn show when they have the, whoops, when they have the giant veg. And so I got quite a few of those in there to see if they will germinate. Uh, this is also a big squash. This is Guatemalan blue banana squash. Um, 
I haven't heard brilliant things about that squash, but they look incredible. I've seen the pink ones. Um, somebody had those on the plot last year, and I think Mark is doing pink ones. I've got Musque de Provence. Never done that one before. Green Hockeyardo. So I think that's like a green version of the Achiki Curie, but I might be wrong. And I've got Chioga. Chioggia? Chioggia. Which is the one, the green one with the quite ribbed flesh. So they look fantastic. Talking of looking fantastic, this is the one that I chose for my from my King Seed order. This is Goosebumps. How cool is that? That'll be great for Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, <laughs> Chuck B. Little is my final one. Um, oh, I bought that one from King Seeds as well. Um, another small pumpkin. I'm interested to try that in comparison to the Achiki Curie one as well, see which one of those tastes better. So that in total, I think, is 17 varieties. I've got the Baby Boo from Danny, so that'll be 18, if it germinates, hopefully. And, um, and I need to get a button up, so that'll be 19. I don't like an odd number. I feel like now I need, you know, I haven't got Crown Prince. I wonder if my cousin has any Crown Prince seed. I think we should make it around 20, don't you? Now, part of the reason that I put out the peas and sweet peas was because I wanted to free up these big fat cell trays for the pumpkins. Um, but actually, if I'm gonna do three, about three seeds of each, that's not gonna be enough. Um, I do have more of these trays, but they're full of ranunculus and I have no idea where my ranunculus are going yet. So what I think I might do is use some of these ones. I have loads of these. So we'll have a combination of different trays. But the point is to have a big cell um, because these are big plants and hopefully they can stay in there for a little while before needing potting on. And <laughs> oh gosh. That's all the pumpkins sown for this year. The sun has come out for it. And um, last year I had 24 plants and nearly 60 pumpkins. So let's see how this year compares. So looking through my seed basket, I think what I'll do this evening is just a couple more carrots. So I've got a yellow carrot, John of two dupes, and a dragon purple carrot. So I think I've just got enough space left in my long raised beds to put in a couple of rows of carrots. Yeah.